Hello there! In this video, we're going to talk about how in calculus class we use radians to measure angles. This all stems from the fact that when we proved that the derivative of sine is cosine, we very heavily used the fact that we were inside the unit circle and we were measuring angles with radians. Let's see a very basic example. To start, let's look at sine of x degrees. Now, we know what this basically looks like. It's going gonna, it's gonna to move up and, and maybe just to be that complete, I can continue the graph some. But it's going to go up, it's going to have a local max at 90 degrees, it's going to come back down at 180 degrees, come back down, have a local min at 270 degrees, and then be zero at 360 degrees. This is what sine of x degrees looks like. And so there's a question that we can ask. We can ask, the sine of, this is the derivative with respect to x of sine of x degrees equal cosine of x degrees. Is that true? Well, let's look at the, um, let's look right here at, at, at x equals zero. That's at zero degrees. Hmm. So check at zero degrees. So here's the question. What is the slope of this curve at zero degrees? You know, this is a little bit hard, but um, I'm just going to estimate it because estimating is good enough in this case. The derivative tells us the slope of the tangent line, and the tangent line is going to look something like this, right? So I'm not real sure what it is, but if we, if we look at rise over run right here, right here, the rise is supposed to be 1. My picture is kind of crummy, I'm sorry, but here's the rise, it's 1, and the run is 90, and so the slope of the tangent line of x degrees, that's about 1 over 90. It's a little bit, uh, it's, it's, it's a little bit, if this is, this is actually 1 here, so this is higher. So in, in fact, it's a little bit bigger, but not that much bigger. It's just a little bit bigger. It's about 1 over 90. What is cosine of, uh, of 0 degrees? Well, cosine of 0 is, this is equal to 1. Look, I don't care how much this difference is right here. This slope of the tangent line, 1 over 90, is nowhere near 1. These cannot be equal. But it gets even worse. Let's see another example. We also get into trouble when we're looking at the derivative with respect to x of sine x squared. Check this out. If I take this derivative and if I evaluate it at x equals, say, pi over 2, well, it's equal to, check this out, the, the derivative of sine x squared, derivative of sine is cosine, that's cosine of x squared times 2x evaluated at x equals pi over 2, which is equal to cosine of pi squared over 4 times 2x, which in x is pi over 2 times pi. All right, that's great. But what if I evaluate this thing, d over dx of sine of x squared, evaluated at x equals 90, uh-huh. This is equal to cosine of x squared times 2x evaluated at x equals 90. This is equal to cosine of 90 squared times 180. Now look, uh, 90 squared is, th these, these things here are not equal. How, how do we reconcile this? Are, are there, is there any sort of way that we can make sense out of this? So how do we reconcile uh, the, this, this, this fact? Well, the first way is the easiest way. It is always, work in radians. That's the, that's the first way to reconcile what's going on here. The other way to reconcile this, too, is you think of this degree sign as meaning, uh, say, I'm putting x degrees, that's not x to the zero, it's supposed to be x degrees, as meaning x times pi 
over 180. And if you think of x degrees as meaning this, then let's think about uh, our previous examples, okay? So think about this. So if we have derivative uh, d over dx of sine of x degrees, this is equal to d over dx of sine of x times pi over 180, which is equal to, aha, uh -huh, by the chain rule, pi over 180 times cosine of x times pi over 180, which is equal to pi over 180 times cosine of x degrees. Let's look at our other example now. And so we had derivative with respect to x is sine of x squared. And we're evaluating this at 90. And now I put my little degree sign in here. And this degree sign, of course, means that I'm multiplying by, remember, blank degrees means blank times pi over 180. And let's see what happens here. So now when I take my derivative, I'm going to get uh, cosine of x squared times 2x evaluated at x equals 90 degrees. But what is 90 degrees equal to? This is cosine of x squared times 2x evaluated. Well, 90 times pi over 180, that's x equals pi over 2. And so this is going to give us the same answer, cosine of pi squared over 4 all times pi which is the correct answer. So we've seen that in calculus class, we use radians. If you don't like radians, well, you should change your mind. Radians are fantastic, okay? Also, that little degree symbol, we've given some meaning to it. It's the same as multiplying by pi over 180. All right, I think you know what time it is because it's time to do some more math.